We are going to be talking about different ways to use think sound when we're writing. So, we know what letter goes with P. P. And we, we have our sound bar. How often, our power bar, how often do we use just the, le just the letter P for the sound? A lot. How, how often, Grace? A lot. A lot. This means most of the time. We use the sound for the letter P. On our sound wall, which wall would, would it be on? Point to it. Consonant or vowel? Good. If we were, let's just review how to find it. Okay? Is it a stop or continuant? Is it a stop or a continuant? Jimmy? Stop. It's a stop. Because can I go? I can't. It's quick sound. Is it voiced or unvoiced? Lily? Unvoiced. Unvoiced. Okay. And let's take a quick clue. On uh, our picture clues, which one does it go with, everyone? Yay! Okay, very good. It's exactly where it wants to be on our sound wall. So most of the time, it's spelt with just one P. In fact, on our sound wall, that's all that's there. We're going to learn about another spelling. This one is just to do with our root words. So hands down for now, let me, let me continue. So... We know a couple words are con or up. We know that P is used for the sound. The other spelling we're going to go over is PP. Now, look, I want you to take a look at this word. What is this word? word? Read it for it with me. Nancy. Nancy. What do you notice about that word? What do you notice about that word? Sophia? It has two P's. What else do you notice? Four? It has an ing at the end. It has an ing at the end. Very good. So, this word has a root word. So what is our root word? What is our root word? Caitlin? Yeah. Nap. So, do we spell the word nap with two P's? Just the word nap? No. Can we spell just the word nap? No. We add another P, and I'm going to explain why. So some other words that go that have two P's are happen or clapping. What do you notice about those words? <coughs> Daily? They have two P's. They do have two P's, but what else? Mason? They're they um Okay. Okay, think about I want you to keep that thought in your head. What do you notice that happened? What do you notice? Okay, good. How many syllables are there? Raise your fingers. How many? We have two syllables in both those words. So usually, with the exception of when Mason said that there's a past and present, some past tense, they, it could be one syllable. But usually when you see a two P, when you see two Ps, it's a two-syllable word. Everybody clap happened. Hap then. Everybody clap 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 clapping. Clap thing. Two syllable words. So We know that the most common way to spell the p sound is P. What we're going to talk about today is root words. So, like the word napping or clapping, they both have a root word. And an F right now. So, when we think of root words, I want us to think of a flower. Point to the roots of the flower. Are they the bottom, middle, or top? Bottom. 
bottom. We have our roots down at the bottom. When we think of a root word, we think of the original. When, we, when a flower grows, does it start at the top? No. Where does it start from? Bottom. Bottom. That's the original. That's the start. We start with the root word. So, we know that some root words, when we are using past and present tense, we know that we can have a root word and then we can add an ing or an ed. These root words are verbs, so we can have past, present, or future tense. So, everybody read that root word for me. Stop. Everybody read that root word. Stop. Stop. Very good. Okay, stop is the root word. That is the first word we have. Now, the pedals we're going to use for different suffixes. Suffix is the ending. It's another word for the ending. Not all endings are suffixes. Suffixes are like ed and ing that change the word a little bit. Okay? Everybody read this word. Stop. Ooh, let's try that again. Stopping. Stopping. Very good. And this one? Stopped. Now we know that because it ends in a unvoiced, that ed makes the what sound? Everybody? Stopped. Good. Okay. Those are suffixes. We have ing and ed. Those are suffixes. Those are the endings that we add to change it. So it uses that. It kind of changes the word a little bit. If I'm reading the word stopped, that changes it so that it is past. Okay? Stopping is usually present. We are stopping right now. Okay. What do you notice the difference is between our root word and our endings? Everybody sitting up straight, please. Sitting up straight. Good. What do you notice? Mason? Good, they all have stopped. What do you notice is the difference? Grace? Um, um, I know that the difference is they have different endings. Mm -hmm. And uh, that the stop uh, in stopping and stop, they uh, I know something that's similar. Okay. Um, they both don't have two P's when it's just the root word. Okay, right, stop. Did everyone hear that? Yeah. She said that the root word has one P. And the ones at the ending, E, D, and I, and G, both have two keys, like we just talked about. So, let's look at another one. Let's look at another root word. Everybody read our root word. Uh, tap. Very good. So, we have tap. Now let's read, so our, that's our root word. Now let's read our petals, our, our endings. Tapping. Everybody try it again. Tapping. 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 Not tap end. Remember, tap. it as an unvoiced, tap. unvoiced ending, it makes the t sound. Tap. 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 Very good. What do we notice about those? What do we notice, Cora? You tell me something you notice. Something the same or different. Okay, so she noticed again the two P's. In what? What? All of them? No, which ones? Good. The two ending words, not the root words. The root word has what? How many P's? One and the and the other two have two. two. So is there a pattern so far? 
So far, is there a pattern? No. Yeah. Oh, let's keep looking. I'll do, well, let's do another one. Okay, everybody read our root word? Okay, I need you facing forward, please. Everybody read our root word again. Ma. Ma. Very good. Okay, now let's read our endings. Mopping. Mopped. Very good. Okay. What do we notice? What do we notice? We don't notice anything? Nothing? I noticed that when the robots. I noticed on the other two that uh, um, mopped and mad and stop the uh -huh. they had one kind of piece the the in and the the and another piece. Nice. So we now notice that all three words the root word has one P at the end. And the suffixes, the ones that add the ending, have two P's. So, when you, add, here's our rule for this. This is why. Are you ready to hear why? Yes. Thank you for your enthusiasm. Yes. Ready? When you add a suffix, remember the suffix is the ending. I-N-G, E-D, any other suffix like that. When you add a suffix to a one syllable, how many? One. One syllable, remember? So, mop, stop, tap, one syllable word with a short vowel. What kind of vowel? Well, let's try that again. What kind of vowel? Short. Short vowel. When you add an ending to a one-syllable short vowel word, it's very similar to the CK rule, one-syllable short vowel word, you are going to, and it's followed by a single consonant. So, not one, if, if a word ends in CK, are you going to double it? If it ends in a floss rule? So, if it ends in a, ready? Here's our, here's our rule. I'm gonna write it on the word, the board. One syllable. Short vowel. Let's name our short vowels. Ah, everybody. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I heard a couple long vowels. Ah, ah, eh, eh, ah, ah. Let's do it again. Ah, eh, eh, ah, ah. Yep, yep. It was the consonant sound. So the Y will make one of those short vowels. Short vowel. And then it ends in a single, single is by itself, single, So did you notice, when we have those, when we have those words down there, ma, it has one consonant at the end. It is a vowel, a consonant, vowel, consonant, only one consonant. So will it end in a blend? Will we end in a blend? No. The blend. So if I were to say lunch, would we? Can we do that? No. That ends in a blend and a diagram. So a single consonant means one consonant. Now, what does it mean? Oh, let's try that again. It means what? One consonant. So, this is our steps. Well, we need to double, we're doubling. Check if it's a one syllable root word, daily. One syllable, short vowel, single consonant. So, 
So no blends, no digraphs, no CK, no floss rule, single consonant, like ma. Okay? We will double that consonant when adding our suffix. Okay. So. We're going to, in our new books, Nash, in our new books, we're going to find 1.1. What you're going to do Alexander, I'll get you one. I think I forgot to just get to put your name down. Okay, bud? So don't worry. Turn around. Okay? Is that a green green problem? Or a yellow problem or a red problem? Maybe yellow because we do need it, right? But is it okay? Will we solve that problem together? Can we solve that problem together? Of course we can. Okay? Okay. I think I just forgot to get your name tag on one, okay? Don't worry, I got, I got you. Okay. You are going to look. I don't see everyone's eyes. You're going to look. We're going to lead the root word. You're going to go through the steps. One syllable, short vowel, single consonant. And you're going to either, and you're going to need, Add the ending, either E D or I N G, using that pattern. Okay. So they did the first one for you. So sip, sip, sipping. What did they have to do with those P's? What did they have to do? They had to double them. Very good. So go ahead. 